Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI is Pravit Raman. Today let's discuss one interesting constant question in just time. Write a constant such that following code all the even numbers from the dynamic array array 1 must be stored inside the dynamic array array 2. What they mention? What are the elements there inside the array 1 which are even numbers must be inside the dynamic array? What are all the even numbers which are inside the array 1 inside the array 2? And also they mention assume that array 1 can have any number of elements but not more than the 20. The array 1 size is which is less than the 20 and the elements which are inside the array 1 must be greater than the 0 and less than 1000. Here they given two arrays. The array 1 having a some numbers. What are the even numbers there inside the array 1 must be inside the array 2 all the even numbers for the array 1. And also they mention array 1 can any number of elements but not more than the 20. The size of the array 1 which is 20 will be less than the 20 and all the elements must be greater than the 0 and less than 1000. Let's write a class. Just let's declare the rank variables for the dynamic arrays. I am declaring array 1, a1, rank it a2. Here you can see, uh, let's write the size for the array 1. Okay, let's write a constant for it. Constant x. What is the size of the array 1? It is less than the 20. Okay, a1, a1 dot size. It is less than the 20. Let's make it from 5 to 19. Okay. Now what they mention can array 1 all the elements must be greater than the 0 and less than 1000. Let's declare a question for it. Why? Array 1 okay for each for each of a1 a1 of i The elements for the array 1, how many elements? It is from greater than 0 and less than 1000. Greater than 0, correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. Completed. Now you have to be calculate the size of the array 2. What is the size of the array 2? Array 2 size is how many even numbers there are inside the array 1. Okay, let's declare a constant for it. Set array 2 size a2 dot size equal to the even numbers inside the array 1. Okay, a1 dot sum. See the array to size is the elements even numbers inside the array one. The size of the array two is even numbers inside the array one. That's why the, from using this uh, sum method, I will get the how many numbers even numbers are there inside the dynamic array. I will get here a one dot sum with item modulo two. What are the even numbers are there? Which has, uh, then it will the sum of the all the value how many even numbers are there. It will equal to the array 2 size, correct? It will not calculate the sum of the all the even numbers. It will calculate how many even numbers are there inside the array 1. Now, see, they mention another thing all the even numbers from the dynamic array 1 must be stored inside the dynamic array 2. Okay, how we can do? Let's declare a constant. A2 
what they mentioned are ever must to show inside the dairy maker array to the all the even numbers okay that's why array of two inside even correct now here you can see uh, what are the elements inside the a2 that are which is inside the a1 elements or inside the a2 now you have to be specifically choose the even numbers only that's why a2 modulo 2 equal to 0 see what i wrote here what are the elements there inside the array 2 which are inside the array 1 but only even numbers need inside the array 2 okay that's why a modulo 2 which has a2 to like a2 array 2 modulo 2 means all the elements inside the array 2 even numbers only there is a possibility see here the elements which are can be repeated see let's declare one class 2 well, so what are the elements inside the array 1 3 4 6 this is array 1 elements okay array 1 a1 elements now what are the elements for the a2 which are what are the even elements they are inside the a1 2 4 6 correct these are the a2 elements but there is a possibility the numbers which are inside the array 2 can be repeated which has 2 2 6 this is possible to know here what i mentioned array 2 values inside the array 1 maybe they can repeat values which are 2 can be repeat two times that's why use unique constant here constant Unique of R two. Completed. Here let the here can see the maybe there is a possibility the elements inside the array one can be all the R numbers. That's why you can make the array two size greater than one. Let it get a constant. to dot size greater than 1 see what I wrote what are the elements there inside the array 1 need to insert the array 2 but only I am taking the even numbers that's why array 2 elements are even numbers a, a of array 2 modulo equal to 0 it, it indicating the all the elements inside the array 2 only even numbers only yes, in this class let us declare object for the class Let's run the code.
let's change this tool here we take motor let's take it guidance see are even having a values which are the, all the even numbers correct the array to having the all the even numbers let's change the tool it may be get uh, different values Are even having a even numbers and odd numbers, but are you having a only even numbers? Correct. 632, 874. Is there any yeah, 251 is an odd number. There is no 252 in R2. If you like the content, please share and subscribe.